Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are continuing our renovation on our small studio apartment kitchen. So this is a very small kitchen. In the previous video, we demolished the whole thing. We took out all the cabinets and everything. Um, we even found some weird step that we cannot get rid of, which was a bummer, but we'll work around it. But now let me talk about the process behind designing this new kitchen. So basically we have never designed a kitchen, never have renovated anything kitchen related. So this was all new to us. So we didn't film the whole process, but I do want to explain our thought process through the whole thing so you guys can get an idea of what we were thinking. So I went to Pinterest and just started looking at all these kitchen renovations and just started getting some inspiration. So for the house, I kind of already have a picture of what I want the kitchen to look like. So I knew I wanted the opposite in the apartment because, you know, I could have the best of both worlds, basically. So I started looking at great kitchens. I started looking at the doorknob pools. As you can see, I saw some gold ones. I started looking at the countertops and also the top cabinets and all that. So since our kitchen is very small, I decided that I want no top cabinets, that instead I, I wanted an open shelving. So then I started looking at open shelving kitchens and I really started to love the backsplash, uh, the idea of putting a backsplash um, and then open shelving. So this was one of the big inspirations here. And since, all, and since countertops can be super expensive, Jason requested that we do a cheaper alternative, um, not, not laminate, but something a bit better. So we decided to do butcher block. So I also started looking into butcher block and all that. And this is one of the pictures that I was like, wow, this actually really looks nice against the gray. I love the open shelving. It looks really good. The backsplash is good. Um, and yeah, so this was one, but then we went to Ikea and started looking at, um, all the different types of cabinets and all that. And he basically fell in love with the idea of a black kitchen. And I was kind of afraid of a black kitchen because, you know, it's black, it's dark and it's a small kitchen. So I thought, Hey, maybe it will make it look so dark and dingy. And I just didn't like it. I didn't like the idea, to be honest. But, you know, he was like, you know, just think about it. This is the apartment. So he basically convinced me that, you know, once we don't live in the apartment no more and we live in the new house, this apartment can be used as a game studio or something and a black kitchen will be more fit. So I agreed with him. So we decided to go for a black kitchen and then that changed everything. So I had to start looking at the same thing again. Uh, how the counter will look like, the drawer pools, the cabinet pools, and all that. So I started looking at different pictures on Pinterest, and I really loved the black and white. Um, I love that idea. So we're getting black cabinets. I guess that's a little spoiler for you all, but we'll save the rest for more videos. Now let's continue with the video where we picked up the countertop. So very cold morning here in Charlotte. We are at Floor & Decor picking up a countertop for the whole apartment kitchen. So we decided to go with butcher block because it's very cost effective and we can actually sand it down, stain it, do whatever we want as far as color. Even in the future, if we wanted to change it, we can. And it's inexpensive and you know, it's just the apartment. We're not trying to go all, all out on it. Although we are still picking up cabinets right after this, but we ended up picking up this butcher block from floor and decor, like I said. It was a pretty good deal. We got a whole 12 foot countertop um, I think we got it for right around $420. But then once they started loading it in, I noticed it was damaged. I can show you here. So I mean, it's common for this, you know, butcher block to split because it's just all glued together. But there's quite a few splits. And also this corner is damaged right here, which that can be hidden with like the backsplash or something like that. And you know, that's not a big deal. And as we're going further down, there's a few more blemishes, which will be sanded down. Now that's the advantage of the butcher block is you can sand it. So Ikea has countertops that look like this, but they're a veneer. So you can't really sand it down and just take off material. And even there's some splits on the other side, but I mean, they took off like a hundred dollars off of it for us because of all the damage. And this was the last one they have in stock is discontinued. So there shouldn't be that many more people buying this. So 
Unfortunately, you guys are out of luck if you guys are trying to do the same thing. But this yeah. is uh, fumed oak, by the way. Yes, fumed oak. We just got a 12 foot piece. Okay, we've got one eight foot counter and one four foot counter. It's a little bit smaller than that, um, but we can, you know, when we cut it, we'll lose some material. Shouldn't be too bad. Let's go to Ikea, not too far from here, and go pick up our whole new custom kitchen. So our box truck came in handy. We're using it. We're going to continue using it because it's so useful just to throw everything in there. Instead of tying it down, tarping it. We are at Ikea, my favorite place. And here he comes with some stuff. Our first car, we got two more to go. So right now we're trying to pull out the butcher block. It's a 12 foot um, countertop. So what we're going to do is go ahead and cut it out here since we need a four foot and eight foot and it'll be easier to carry. Nothing. If we mess this up, if we mess this up, it's an expensive mess up. It was four feet, right? Yes. 100%? That's it, you know. Right on the money. So this should be a little bit like a very like hair tighter than eight feet, which is exactly what we want. It's an eighth of an inch smaller than eight feet, which is perfect. Yeah, we, we knew we will lose obviously some from cutting it. Yeah, anyway, we don't want it to be like, too tight because the walls are probably not straight anyways and we don't want to damage the drywall when we're setting it down. So a little bit of play, we'll just seal it up with some coffee. All right, let's take it inside. So we are about to put together our kitchen. Here's my brother, sister, and we're about to figure it out. Hopefully it's not that difficult. We definitely have assembled that kit furniture before. So, well, I don't know if he has, <laughs> she has. <laughs>
So moving on from assembling IKEA furniture, the, here in the kitchen we have this bar top that we decided not to rip out because it will be uh, difficult. So we just decided to paint it and eventually put a glass top on it so that it could last longer. So in the kitchen, we also had this wall that I really wanted to be an accent wall. So I wanted to paint it a nice color. So once again, I went to Pinterest and just started looking at different types of accent walls, what will look good with black. And I saw this picture, which is like a dark green. And I really enjoyed that. It's different. Usually I would never go for this, but I bought it. This is called a Flora and we just got it in a satin. So then I just painted that single wall. So now that the kitchen is pretty much done, um, we, it's time to install the cabinets or do the test fit. So one of the issues we had was with that weird step in the kitchen. So we just decided to do what the old owner did and just cut around it. Yes, we, we cut our IKEA cabinets, our new cabinets. Uh, it was very hard to do, but we just figured out that this is the only way that we would get maximum amount of space due to that ugly step in the kitchen. And you know what? It worked out just fine. So here you see us putting in the final cabinets. They're cut, they're done, and it honestly turned out really, really nice. You guys will see the final results hopefully very soon. So make sure you subscribe and like, and we will see you later. Bye.